How did I get into painting? Um, well, I've been creative all my life. So from since I can remember, I've been drawing. Uh, I used to draw at nursery. I used to be obsessed with drawing dinosaurs and things um, to do with Egypt, ancient Egypt. So I started from there, really. Um, and then actually, when I was a teenager, I got into a lot of graffiti and I used to do a lot of tagging and graffiti around my town and I've got quite a few stories to tell about that but I don't think I can say it on my camera but uh, yeah getting paint everywhere all in my garage all through the house and stuff but I think that's kind of well it's actually definitely inspired my artwork as you can see I've been using spray paint recently and um, kind of expressing that street road side to my artwork especially with the, with the grime stuff that's actually that's actually why I did it because grime is actually part of street culture isn't it the road life and all that sort of stuff so that's that's why I've chosen to use graffiti in the background because it kind of matches the actual themes um, that grime artists use my portfolio my Instagram that's like my visual diary and that's what I'm interested in at the moment so say it started from like dinosaurs um, Egypt then I moved on to graffiti street art and now I'm doing artwork as my actual job and my passion it's kind of and at the moment I'm, I'm interested in music so right now that's that's what I'm painting I'm painting musicians especially grime artists hip-hop artists and I'm kind of using the stuff that I learned as a child and a teenager in my artwork now so um, that's what I'm doing at the moment uh, the first one I actually painted was Skepta and back then Skepta well he is popping now but that he was like really bubbling the grime scene back then uh, was it 2013, 2014? So uh, I was listening to a lot of Skepta and Jamie, and uh, I started from there. I did, I did um, it's a, a black and white one with a Machino bucket hat on. I put that on Instagram and it just blew up, and I thought I may as well just carry on from now. I did, I did uh, Jamie, and then J I had Jammer uh, message me to do stuff for the Lord of the Mics, and then it just carried on from there. I love the, I love the Bugsy piece. I think. I executed that quite well and Bugsy liked it so it's a bonus and hopefully going to give that to Bugsy soon. I've been in contact with him so I can't wait to meet him. So that's probably my favourite so far. Obviously when I'm painting Bugsy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to Bugsy, aren't I? That, so obviously I need to get the feel of that character so I can paint the character. I wouldn't, so Bugsy talks about kind of dark subjects and you know the roads and stuff. So I wouldn't do him colourful and bright with little rainbows and teddy bears, would I? You know, you know what I mean. So, yeah. So it has to has to match the character. It has to if if I'm going to do a portrait, that portrait has to um, visually express that person correctly. I mixed Jamie's face and Skepta's face together, and then it was kind of like a blue side and a red side, so light and dark. I mixed them together. I had a really good response for that one online and sold loads of prints and stuff. So I'm proud of that one as well use social media to build your brand up so um, say if you painted a painting today and then you didn't do anything for a year and then did another painting you can't expect people to follow your work or be interested in what you do because you're not churning out a good enough consistency and good enough work rate for people to actually be interested in your artwork so and uh, use, use social me media to build your brand so um, if you're going to be an artist keep it mostly art people don't want to see food pictures or especially online anyway so just, just try and build your brand and brand up as much as possible and um, try and try and build like a, a niche and convey that message towards that niche to so say my, mine's at the moment music or grime I'm gonna build from that and uh, hopefully um, build my brand up worldwide rather than just UK or grime. I want to spread my message a bit, f a bit further. So um, yeah, start with a little niche and then just build your way up and just build from there. And don't be scared to take risks. So yeah, that's that's the advice I can give. I'm going to spread my my artwork further than just music. Um, I actually want to. Um, make a mark on society and culture and convey more of a message be a bit more com controversial political and because i don't want to be just known as a guy that paints portraits or paints famous people i actually want to be i'm trying to build my brand i want to be known as tom fitch 
and I want to know, I want to change people's opinions and personalities when they look at my art and express different messages and meanings behind them rather than just portraits. So recently I've just done this tiger one and that was inspired by um, Siberian tigers and how there's not many men, many left in the world, they're kind of going extinct. So there's more iPhones in the world than there are Siberian tigers. So that's kind of kind of crazy, I think. And that's one of the reasons why I've painted that picture. Um, so kind of raise awareness about that sort of thing, but in a beautiful way, I think. Well, I hope I've done it justice, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try and do a bit more uh, meaningful paintings and I want to do more original artworks, stuff a bit more imaginative and creative from my brain rather than using photograph photographic references. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. So I'm just networking, building my brand, trying to meet as many people as possible and just promote myself and create good artwork and uh, hopefully take over soon. I want to I wanna be known in history books as one of the best British art artists ever. So if you're not going to or even, even in the world, like Picasso, I want to be mentioned, my name next to Picasso, Banksy, you know, why, why not? If you're not going to strive to be the best, then what, why are you doing it? So you have to, you have to try as much as possible.